Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen and, uh, and Barry. So I guess I can just go to the share mode. Uh, let's see if I remember. Okay. I think we are in business. Uh, it should be loading. Uh, you guys let me know, please, if you can see the slides. Okay, cool. Thank you, Barry and uh, Stephen. Good to see you, by the way, Stephen. <laughs> um, okay, maybe I should just, uh, we should give like uh, one minute or so to see if uh, there are more people um, uh, joining. Um, yeah, I see more people showing up, the usual friends. <laughs> Yeah, hello, Claudia. Uh, yeah, let's give it one one more minute. Uh, I promise I won't do too much uh, blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> the session will probably be uh, uh, less than one hour. So yeah, we'll leave the blah, blah, blah for the for the actual thing, for the crash course uh, uh, in a few weeks time. <laughs> Okay, so I will start. Uh, let me see, actually, I can see our good friend, Soham. Uh, let me ask him, Soham, are you able to join? It would be good to have your feedback. So I can invite you on the screen also. In five minutes or so. Uh, okay, that's cool. Just a uh, ping on in the chat uh, whenever you are able to join i will uh, bring you to the tent uh, hello fernando good to see you too okay so let me maximize this go to presenter mode so yeah welcome to this uh, uh, session i basically decided to uh, do this session as like a, some sort of a, a final uh, uh, session for you guys to ask any questions uh, regarding the uh, new uh, crash course on topology um, due to start on June the 25th. So yeah, so it will be, uh, uh, I'll, I'll have some slides to, to go through with you, uh, more or less to just to recap and also make a, a, um comment on some adjustments that I've made since last time. Uh, okay, uh, let's go to it. So. Before we go um, into the the, uh, the actual crash course stuff, um, essentially this crash course uh, was motivated by this. So uh, for those of you who've been with us for the past year or so, um, we, we have had the foundation module, which uh, essentially cover finite dimensional Hilbert spaces and these things. So we decided to uh, uh, build on, on that, build up on that and create module two which will cover Lie groups Lie algebras and uh, uh, the representation so the idea then is that rather because i know you are coming from a, a very diverse background not all of you are coming from a mathematical background uh, pure mathematics let alone so rather than starting with the you know immediately about uh, you know Lie groups and these things maybe it worth having a crash course on topology because as you will see uh, Lie groups are not just uh, groups in the algebraic sense. In fact, uh, this is the right opportunity to go to the next slide. If you go to Wikipedia, for instance, you know it will tell you um, uh, a Lie group um, is a group that is also a differentiable manifold. Okay, uh, a manifold is a space that uh, locally resembles the Euclidean space. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so yeah. So the key is a differentiable manifold. This is the thing, uh, this is the key word. So Lie group is not just a, a group in the algebraic sense, it has a differentiable structure. Or if you wanted to be more precise and make a bit of fuss about it, we'll say smooth uh, manifold, but the difference and the, this uh, technical subtlety will come to that in the actual uh, uh, crash course. Okay, so that's the motivation. So essentially what we need to do in the crash course, this is uh, the plan. So the the uh, from the highest uh, 
from the most higher level, the abstract level, you need to know what topological spaces are. So we need to work with the topological spaces. You have some uh, decent understanding for it. And then the next layer is topological manifolds. And then the, 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 the other part that you need is then what the differentiable manifolds are. Now, how the manifold structure uh, and the algebraic uh, group structure interact, coexist together and these things, this is not something we will do now. This we will do that. You will, uh, you will know how to deal with that in the, in the actual uh, um, module two. So the objective is really to get you a flavor of all these, uh, these guys. So when we get to the lead theory uh, uh, section, you know, you feel comfortable. You know, I'm not just throwing, uh, you know, all uh, uh, jargon and these things that uh, you don't, you don't understand. Um, okay, so. Before we start, uh, before I go to this, uh, what I will be covering, um, I'll just, uh, some of you, the eagle eye guys, uh, might have noticed um, the original plan, in the original uh, uh, plan of the crash course, I included uh, a section on, um, uh, uh, on algebra, uh, more precisely uh, um, covering uh, uh, a bit of uh, representation theory. Uh, I've decided to move uh, to, to make the crash course now to just focus on topology. Okay, the um, algebraic stuff, we will do that at the beginning of module two. In fact, the plan is to have a, a revision of group theory. Um, and then in that, in that section, we will uh, uh, define a bit of a representation theory in general abstract uh, uh, group setup. And then later, as we go through Lie theory, we'll come to, uh, to the actual uh, applications of rep uh, representation theory with the, the Lie groups uh, stuff. And in fact, the uh, um, the good thing is, I'm also planning maybe in the group theoretic revision stuff, maybe the first point of contact between the this intersection between uh, algebra and topology should be uh, a bit of a homotopy theory. Uh, what all this means, you will uh, understand later. So essentially, uh, I'm planning maybe we should touch a bit of uh, homotopy groups. So you, as a as a first um, uh, point for you guys to see how uh, uh, you know the group structure and uh, uh, topological structures uh, um, come together. So that will be a, a sort of a, a first point of uh, contact uh, for you. Um, and it will be just a lightweight stuff. Uh, for example, uh, you know we we'll probably focus just on fundamental group of topological spaces. Uh, but all this means we'll uh, we'll come to that at some point. Okay. So um, having said that. Uh, so the plan is we will have like uh, the first two sessions, um, as you figure it out, n is the number of sessions. Um, the first two sessions will be general abstract topology. So all you need is like a set theoretic stuff. So this will be very abstract uh, general topology stuff. But I don't want to spend too much time on that because the useful topological spaces that we are interested in um, will come in in this section when you know uh, the topological spaces induced by metric by metric spaces so therefore this session here will be a little bit uh, 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 has a little bit more uh, sec uh, um, uh, sessions um, at the moment i think we can do like uh, three sessions and i will see uh, the level of uh, uh, abstract Action, you know how tolerant you are if you need more uh, if we need more sessions i will ask you guys whether you want more sessions if it's helpful before we get to the manifold section okay in the manifold section actually i haven't decided yet how many sessions <laughs> uh it could be well there will be at least one session the question is whether we uh we we, we do more because in, in in theory i don't need you to know much about for our purposes at least in the, for the list of i only need you to know you know what you know differentiable manifolds uh, are the actual way how they interact with the, the group structure and these things that that's something we will do later however some of you especially the guys coming from physics background or you know um, other more advanced backgrounds you might be interested in covering a little bit more of a, a manifold theory in particular these guys here these uh, these guys the, uh, this thing of uh, fiber bundles for instance i know some of you to, um, uh, happening hours and these things it's full of uh, things like uh, you know all this uh, jargon stuff about fiber bundles well maybe we should have uh, uh, 
uh, one or two sessions on fiber bundles so you can have like uh, some basic understanding of how fiber bundles uh, are used. Okay, I've been blah blah in for a few minutes now. I haven't even checked the chat to make sure that I'm not disconnected. Can you still hear me? Okay, good. Okay, good. Thank you. So yeah, so this is the the plan. Obviously, I'm very flexible as we go along uh, to you know adapt stuff based on you know how things uh, based on you guys. Yeah. So, um, and hopefully we will have at least few people you know uh, following up because then if uh, you know people start leaving, <laughs> I will uh, I'll stop. <laughs> Because the last thing I want is to be recording sessions alone, you know, doing blah, 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 and, and, and these things, nobody's uh, like, you know, so, okay. Um, now, another thing I want to share with you is that uh, in, the, in the previous uh, module, we've been doing like uh, weekly gaps, okay? Uh, so we would uh, have a lecture sessions on Friday, and then you would have until the, uh, the Friday after to wrap your head around stuff that we covered. But my... <laughs> my um my gut feeling is that this will be a little the, this uh, crash course might be a little bit too abstract in some in some parts of the uh, of the of the course uh, of the of the lectures so it might be the case that maybe you need more than one week gap in order to observe the the, the, the concepts okay so if that's the case i'm happy to instead of a weekly gap maybe in some sessions uh we can um, uh, you know, give it two weeks gap so you can go and, uh, you know, get yourself familiarized with, uh, with, with the concepts that we, uh, we covered uh, so you can, uh, you know, come back uh, fresh and, uh, you know, uh, with a good uh, grasp of uh, the previous concept because otherwise you will not be able to progress because everything is built on top of each other. Okay, so what I was thinking to do is uh, I'm a, I will be a little bit biased in terms of deciding weekly or two weekly on those who attend the live sessions. So maybe to be fair um, uh, to those who you know make the offer to come into the, to the live sessions, they will be the ones dictating whether you know one week gap or versus uh, two weeks gap. So maybe at the end of each session, I will uh, have a poll asking people you know whether they want two uh, one week or two weeks gaps. Okay, so hopefully there won't be any cheating. Yeah, people coming up at the end of the session. If that happens, then I will do the poll uh, at random. Uh, <laughs> Randomly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, no, I'm. I'm sure you guys. Uh, you know, you won't be cheating. You will be uh, uh, attending the live session. So yeah. So that's the plan anyway. Uh, one week gap versus two weeks gap, and it's your decision. At the end of each session, I, I believe you will have a, a good, uh, um, a good feeling of whether you need one week to understand the stuff that we cover, or you need two weeks. Okay. Uh, let me check the chat again. Actually, I forgot to enable the Q&A. Let me do that now. I have a couple more slides to share with you before I, I stop uh, blah, 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 and hand, hand over to any questions. OK, so here's the benefits of going through this uh, crash course stuff. If you, you know, put your heart and soul into it, you know, go through, you know, uh, um, the stuff that we cover in crash course, you will be very in in the mathematics in mathematics, for instance. You will be in, have a very decent foundation to you know to take on another course on algebraic topology, functional analysis, and measure theory. Okay, so that's 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 the motivation for for you. You know, for those of you the quantum guys, you know, functional analysis and measure theory is uh, if you want to deal with infinite dimensional Hilbert spaces, you cannot run from these uh, these these subjects. Okay, um, in the applied topics, you know. Um, so topological data analysis is one motivation. Obviously, if you, uh, you need uh, algebraic topology on top of that. Uh, geometric deep learning. In fact, there are people talking about topological deep learning uh, and these things. So you will have a decent foundation. Uh, and another thing is for the physics guys, the uh, you know non-abelian gauge theory, for instance. If you uh, well, not not with the crash course, but you know the topological concept and this thing. And if you take lead theory, the, the module two, you will have a decent mathematical foundation to be able to understand what these guys are talking about. If it's, uh, the you know uh, uh, the uh, Einstein's and these things, topological quantum computation is another um, uh, area. And if you watch the previous session, I highlighted some uh, other uh, motivations and these things that you can. Uh, you can check out. This is just a, a brief highlight of uh, 
to motivate you why you should uh, you know put your heart and soul into the crash course okay so the let me go now to the baseline requirements that i need you to wrap your head around before you show up in 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 in, in just over uh, four weeks time so for set theory you know basic set theoretic stuff you definitely need this you know uh, the power set for instance because these are all things that we use to construct concept of uh, topology okay all these things these like basic set theoretic stuff and in fact you have resources here that uh, you can uh, you can download if you go to the courses repository and uh, you can you know focus on these sections here you will be able to grasp all these things because if you struggle with this I i'm sorry there's nothing i can do for you <laughs> so yeah so take this uh you know four four weeks or so you know to go yourself and revise these things okay and nice to have especially when we are talking about the metric topology for you to be able to see concrete examples is if you have some basic real analysis stuff like you know open intervals you know closed intervals half open intervals whatnot blah 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 so the more you have on real analysis, the, be the, the better. And even better if uh, some of you are, know, are already like uh, uh, being exposed to, you know, applied uh, uh, through university, you know, um, mathematical stuff like uh, calculus and this type of stuff. That also will be very, very useful because you will see a lot of stuff will resemble some of the stuff that you, you learn in those, in those subjects, but in a much more um, precise and much more abstract uh, manner. So you will be able to, um, to uh, construct stuff faster. Uh, for the rest, it will be a little bit harder, but uh, it will definitely be helpful if you have some calculus and these things. Uh, okay. Now, in terms of references, I think, um, um, obviously my style will be different. I won't necessarily be following what uh, exactly how these uh, authors <laughs> put the concept because I have my own style, uh, the way I think, uh, you know, the, the good thing with topology is that uh, you will see as when, when we start is that a lot of concepts can be defined in different ways. So it will be up to you to maybe the way I define the concept might be uh, um, uh, a little bit too confusing for you and then you go here you see the in, in, in the resources or uh, another resources you will see the the, the the stuff defined in another way so you understand it better or vice versa it might be that you see it the way i define it is much more clear than uh, what the uh, the book uh, does so i definitely recommend uh, this and this uh, at least and these two have um i forgot to add the url here but i will pa paste it on chat um oh if you go to the repository uh, you will have a link uh, to download these things uh, these uh, things they are free this is classic topology book in fact if you download this you can uh, um, it has a section on set theory that you can revise um if uh, the the stuff that i was uh, uh, going through before and i think it does have also some part on a bit of analysis so uh, so essentially if you download this you will be able to uh, get both set theory stuff and also real analysis in one one uh, so and then the manifold section we will uh, again i won't necessarily follow the, the stuff uh, that uh, the way that the author presents stuff um i will have my own style but uh, this is a, a good reference materials uh, these uh, books um, there's also a download link on how you uh, how you can uh, get re these uh, resources i put it on our github repository okay um let me check the chat Okay, so Barry is asking, is there a difference between metric topology and metric uh, spaces? Uh, maybe it's a bit of a confusing the way I, I put it here. Let me go back to, to this. Uh, so initially I had uh, the title was uh, metric spaces <laughs> and uh, topology, by metric topology. Uh, so uh, they are interconnected. So what I mean with uh, uh, metric topology is the topology induced by the metric space okay that's what what we will do so the like for example the standard topology uh, for instance uh, where we take uh, the uh, metric uh, space structure of rn and then build a topology uh, with that uh, you will see all this how um, uh, what actually the, the thing what we mean with this uh, as we go along yeah but uh, we will ha definitely have uh, 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 spend some decent time on the metric topology because this is like the concrete stuff this is where you have like uh, the useful topological spaces uh, in fact uh, the topological spaces that lead us to manifolds 
are built through the, uh, the, 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 the metric structure. So yeah, metric space structure, okay? In fact, we will see also something like uh, there are some spaces that are not metrizable. So uh, for, uh, yeah, anyway, I don't want to go too much because we lack the language at the moment for me to be able to, uh, to, 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 to have this discussion. But yes, there is no, there is, uh, there is a metric space is a structure, but the metric topology needs the metric space. So, um, so to answer to your uh, point is that uh, the metric topology is built on top of the metric space uh, structure. Okay, so George is asking how the difference Mancro's second edition from the first edition. Actually, I don't remember the first edition, so <laughs> I'm not sure. I remember the second edition definitely because uh, I, I used it in my back in my student days. <laughs> so yeah. So Barry, is there anything else, uh, or is it uh, understood? Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess these are all conversations will come in uh, as we go along. Okay, um, in in the, in the actual uh, course. Okay, so I've gone this, 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 this. Where was I? Yeah, and this, and this. Now some practice practical tips I want to give you guys, <laughs> especially the ones that are coming, uh, not used to these things, you know, because the level of abstraction we really, because I really want to push you guys in the abstraction front, because this is the only way that, uh, you know, our hope is that some of you one day will go on and, uh, you know, create new knowledge, you know, use the uh, mathematics to be able to create, uh, you know, contribute new knowledge. So, you know, for that to happen, you really need to, uh, to, to, think, to take your uh, uh, abstraction level to the next, uh, I mean, uh, the, the abstraction to the next uh, to the next level so i would really challenge you on that so the first advice is that embrace abstraction you know take the abstraction red pill <laughs> you know don't resist <laughs> um this is particularly challenging for uh, i i i was i i would, uh, I would think this is um, particularly challenging for those of you especially the guys the developers the guys coming from programming background you know when you want to learn a new stack you go to the developer uh, documentation you see some sample stuff uh, sample code you know you play around and these things. So you always work with concrete examples first and these things, yeah. So this is a uh, challenge. So what you need to do, what I want you to challenge yourself to do is to um, kind of resist this temptation to, to put your, uh, your mind in a state where when you see a mathematical definition, for instance, you're not thinking about, oh, let me see an example. No, no, no. The first thing that comes to your mind is actually, what can I do with this? What can I prove? What can I construct? So this is what I mean by taking the abstraction red uh, red pill is for you to immerse yourself into the into the concept, into the abstract concepts without caring much about you know concrete examples. Okay. So essentially, I want you to feel comfortable working with the forest as opposed to saying, oh, what's the individual trees uh, and this type of stuff. Okay. And the second advice I would uh, I would I would I would like to give is that um, take it one step at a time to abstract concepts, especially in these things, <laughs> these, uh, these, uh, the stuff that we will be covering, because they are built on top of each other, okay? So take one time. This is where I think the two week gaps uh, in some of the uh, lectures might, might be very, uh, very useful for those of you new to these things, okay? Another thing is that um, uh, build, try build your own intuition of the concepts, okay? It's all good for me. Uh, in fact, I will have less uh, drawings and this, and don't expect me to be drawing stuff on the, on the thing to give you like uh, the stuff. My, my approach will be very, very, very abstract, okay? I will draw stuff if, uh, if needed and these things. But uh, yeah, you will have also the reference materials and these things for you to, 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 to help build your intuition. But it's always good to try to build your own intuition as opposed to relying on other people's uh, um, 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 uh, intuition okay um another thing i would like to advise you is that try to do the proofs because i will challenge you with proofs uh, in, in in the actual course we'll uh, discuss the logistics of it you know there are some proofs that i will do or i will give you a reference to say you know go and see the proofs and, and that and there are others that i will require you to uh, you know i will challenge you you don't have to do it but i will challenge you to do okay and try to do the proof, proofs by yourself before you check uh, other people's uh, proofs because this is how you, you know, this is how you kind of uh, get yourself into the, into the, into the thing, into these things. Okay. This is how you, you, you build up your, uh, your, 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 uh, your, your mathematical, um, 
capabilities is by trying stuff by yourself before you you look and don't be afraid because uh, this is the thing i think um, i've mentioned this times in the previous uh, uh, module is that you, your proof is that same uh, 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 at the same conclusion uh, uh, with a different uh, 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 in, a, in a different way it doesn't mean you are wrong okay because there are many it's very often in mathematics there are many ways of proving uh, proving stuff okay so um, that's something to uh, I recommend that you keep in mind okay um, another advice is that if you struggle to understand a, a concept, cross-reference different sources. This is why I was telling you, for example, I will. Uh, there are some ways that I will define the concept, maybe on the book, on the reference material, the, the author is uh, defining it in a different way. So, you know, uh, cross-reference different, uh, uh, different uh, resources uh, in order for you to, because the, the end goal is really for you to understand the stuff, you know, how you understand it, whether it's through me, the, my definition or someone else's definition, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, another thing is, uh, Try to set up a study group. This is really, I think, this uh, this uh, crash course could be really a kind of a template for you before we get to the new theory section. It's for you guys. I know some of you already. Uh, I think you share some Discord servers and these things where you you know you are participating in different uh, quantum computing groups and these things. So maybe you can gather, especially the ones in the same time zone. You know, you can create a, a, a study groups, especially if uh, the you know the, the two week if we have like two week gap where you can you know. Um, uh, gather together, you know, you know, and uh, you know, help each other out, and uh, you know, uh, show each other's uh, proofs and these things, because this this really helps you, you know, because there might be some concept where you 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 observe the concept faster than someone else, and there might be another concept that uh, maybe someone else uh, has, uh, you know, had uh, a better understanding than you. So you know, you help each other out, okay. And the final one is, is a bit of a, a, a joke. <laughs> Whenever you feel frustrated with abstraction, remember the following quote. Huh? <laughs> so I actually would say this also applies to physicists. Huh? When you give, a, as from the way they use mathematics, huh? you give a physicist a mathematical concept, they might translate it to, to something completely different. Let me give you an example. You give them uh, linear functionals. They say, no, 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 we're not going to call it linear function. We'll call them bra, okay? They even invent their own notation. <laughs> so that's my practical tip and my, my run to the, to the thing. So um, let me see. <laughs> you take the red pill and the story, the blue pill and the story ends. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so, but, but I hope you take, you take the red pill. Yes, uh, Stefan, uh, that's right. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let me see if our friend, because this is the last slide I have, I believe so. So let me see if uh, I can pull Soham to see if he can make any comments or you guys, you have any other questions, by the way, the Q&A is enabled. Soham, you want to make any comment? You want me to pull you into the audience? Maybe give them some motivation why they should uh, care about manifolds? <laughs> okay, so I'm inviting uh, Soham now. Hi. Oh, so uh, hi. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, so good to catch up again. I think so. Is uh, the final catch up before uh, the uh, uh, the stuff, the red pill stuff starts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you have any comments? Uh, first of all, on the only thing on the on the on the structure. Uh, yeah. I think I think it is a pretty good. Uh, plan that you have and i personally would really like to learn more about fiber bundles since as you mentioned it does come up so often in f physics um and i think it would be a good idea like you mentioned then to have some st study groups and since this is a fairly abstract course it would re re really help uh to practice the proofs uh, by ourselves. Uh, so for, for that, uh, study group groups can be pretty useful. Yeah, I agree with that. And if you want to know why uh, league groups are important, well, maybe I guess after we have done some of the course, I can give a pre pre presentation on my PhD research where we do, do use uh, this league groups a lot. So 
that's that's something I oh guess. that that would be brilliant that would be, be i think the audience uh, that would be fantastic actually <laughs> for them to see <laughs> the action thing. yeah so yeah okay so i have a question is there a question sir where do you have to ask question if we double click in the class lecture uh you mean in this session or in general um uh, i think in in general, I guess you can probably link the the Twitter uh, chat that we have, and that that would be useful. Yeah, and actually, I also recommend you to join. In fact, it's on my next slide. Actually, is this one? <laughs> you can go to the Gitter community channel. You know, this is where I encourage you guys. You know, you can chat to each other, or if you have another channel that you you know um, you already some of you already overlap. You know, you can uh, you know uh, uh, talk to each other and these things. Yeah, I definitely like Gitter because uh, it supports LaTeX. So <laughs> when you write uh, the thing, it will display. You know. Uh, um, and I guess generally you can just type the questions on the chat. Also, there is a uh, um, at the bottom of your screen there should be the Q and A also enabled in case you wanna do it through through there. Oh, no, I didn't actually. Sorry, I forgot to enable. Yeah, there's something there. Yeah, it's now enabled. <laughs> so any of you have any question that you want to uh, you want to ask? Or is it clear? I promise that I, I wouldn't go on with the too much blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so just, uh, a, a quick advice. to So when you show up on the 25th, you are not uh, <laughs> you're not you're not surprised. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Come on, ask a question. If not, I guess we could uh, we could uh, you know end the session early. If there are no questions, you know you can uh, rewatch this uh, this again, and you know download. Uh, oh, let me um, let's see uh, the URL to download the resources. Um, let's see. Let me pick up URL. Uh, any other comment that you would like? Uh, uh, you have. So um, uh, you like to advise them in terms of uh, the thing. By the way, I'm, I'm always curious about uh, you, know, you guys coming from the from the physics and uh, the physics uh, program, uh, especially in the US where you are based, for instance. Uh, which year do you guys learn about manifolds? And I, I I assume it's when you are doing like general. Uh, actually, in uh, if you do it just from physics is very unlikely that you, that you would learn about manifolds unless you're doing something like uh, string theory or something like that. It's very unlikely that you will learn about manifolds. Or if you are doing something like general relativity, then you might get some introduction to manifolds. Uh, but mm -hmm. usually it's more like when, at least for me, it was like when I took course from the maths departments uh, then i got to learn more, more about all this so uh, in okay. physics usually <laughs> you don't learn this you just learn this if you're doing a research on that then you just learn it by yourself but usually there are no courses okay. for this yeah yeah okay so i think this is an opportunity for uh, some of you some of you that i know are studying physics and these things uh, to get uh, exposed to these things <laughs> Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that if you don't actually do uh, the le learn it in the abstract way and practice the proofs and all, you don't really understand the math. You just follow some rules and get some answer, but you're not sure exactly what is go going on in the background here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I, absolutely, I, 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 I understand. That's why <laughs> I, I struggle to pick a, a book uh, written by physicists on the thing, <laughs> all these uh, uh, conventions and all this uh, stuff. <laughs> uh, but if if you are coming from a physics background, then there's the book by uh, now. I mean, I, I can share the book in the chat and uh, in the it is chat uh, where where you can connect physics to to uh, all this that that we are learning and i think uh, that can be 
useful after we have done this uh, uh, course. Uh, it will be useful to see what's the use in physics is that here. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, as I said last time also, what I will be doing is, uh, thanks, thanks by the way for offering to give a presentation, a, a seminar on this as we go along. I will invite other people in other fields, uh, in particular sure. those who are interested in like a data science, for example. I have some people who might give a talk on topological data analysis and these things, but you will see these things uh, being used likewise in uh, deep learning and these things, you know. Um, in physics also, I will invite some people who are working on things like gauge theory, non abelian gauge theory, and this type of stuff. You see, uh, there's no point in inviting them before because they will not uh, be able to understand right, <laughs> what right. they are talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And when they start talking about uh, the fiber here and there and all this uh, stuff, they'll be like, wow, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So I don't see any question, and I don't want to take uh, you know uh, your time. Um, if there aren't any questions, I guess we can uh, leave the session shorter. Yeah. Does anyone have any final, any 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 question about uh, the structure? I mean, uh, I will make more comments as we go along and these things, you know, uh, this stuff uh, about, uh, so you will have opportunity to ask uh, questions at a later time. So, so uh, yeah. I think I do have a question. I think, you know, Email you mentioned uh, about some internship thing. Maybe you can comment ah. on that so the people will know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I talked to my colleagues, and um, we are happy for those of you who go to uh, module two. You know, because that will be relevant to uh, uh, two two projects that we are currently uh, working on in our company. Uh, mm -hmm. so for those who uh, go through the module two, um, we will be offering an uh, internship. And uh, it's not clear yet how the logistics of picking, you know, the thing. it will probably right, be like right. a judgment based on maybe uh, submission and this thing. You know, you submit something and, you know, you say, oh, okay, yeah, you have, we'll, we'll find out, but we'll definitely, um, we'll offer an uh, internship opportunity because it's actually an opportunity to see how the stuff that we uh, offer <laughs> is actually <laughs> being applied in our sense, you know, uh, the, stuff, uh, the stuff that we are playing around with, you know, around, uh, say, homomorphic encryption, for instance, this type of thing. Right. So, yeah. Um, okay, is there any other question? Oh, by the way, congratulations to those of you uh, who have uh, sent the completion for the foundation module. Yeah, I must say I skimmed through. I, I didn't uh, read much the submissions, but, uh, you know, just for the, uh, I, I, I issued the, the stuff. So for those of you who are new to this, if you wanted a piece of paper to say that you, you completed the foundation module, uh, I needed to see, like, uh, you know, you need to tell me that, uh, you know, uh, the stuff that you learn, use it to do something else. So that, that was the, uh, if you are interested in getting the, the piece of paper, um, the certificate, uh, you know, just uh, get in touch and, uh, you know, we'll uh, work out the logistics. You have to submit something or, you know, contribute something like uh, the, the, guys who, uh, the, the guys and girls who submitted uh, stuff, uh, you know, they, they got their stuff. So, yeah, congratulations to them for making up the efforts. And some of them, some of you indicated you wanted uh, career option stuff. I'm still looking for, a time. hopefully, before before the course, uh, this then I will have a call with you. Those of you who kind of, uh, wanted, uh, you know, uh, because uh, in the in the um, there's an option to say whether you would be interested in some sort of career path, whether through us or um, other companies that are within our network. So I didn't forget. I'll follow up with you on that. It's just uh, my schedule, especially after the lockdown, I've gained a little bit more uh, independence. I'm at an undisclosed location. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so yeah, I've been busy uh, uh, a little bit, but I will follow up with you on that so we can schedule a. Uh, 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 a one-to-one -one call uh, for you also to go through your submission because what I did was to issue the certificate of completion as you submit and then uh, because you indicated that you want uh, career um, uh, interest in career related stuff, I will actually uh, you know um, you will go through uh, you know uh, tell me a bit about your submission and these things. Okay, okay. So that's it really. Um, any other question or comment, uh, Soham or anyone from the audience before we end this? I'm good, yeah. 
Okay, final chance, huh? the train is leaving. <laughs> Okay, so, well, I guess, uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you then. Uh, thank you so much for showing up, and I hope, you, you know, the, the advice has been uh, useful, and hopefully it gives you a hint of uh, what's uh, expecting you <laughs> before the, uh, the the 25th. So, yeah, and uh, thank you to Soham again for uh, his uh, invaluable feedback, and, uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing uh, everyone back, including Soham, on the on Friday the 25th at the same time. See you. Okay. Bye. Bye. And, uh, yeah. We uh, we see you. Thank you so much. Uh, how do we cancel?